Hey everyone, we have another amazing poker video for you and this one is a classic, but probably the best bluff Phil Ivey has ever made. Our hand today is taken from the Monte Carlo Millions and is between Phil Ivey and Paul Jackson for the one million dollar prize money for the winner. This is an oldie, but we had to share this hand and talk about it, as in our opinion it is one of the best hands in poker history and one of Ivey's, if not the best, poker bluffs. Chip count now just about four to one in the favor of Phil Ivey. Paul Jackson, however, has breached that magic million chip mark, and were he to double through, we'd be looking at a real horse race here. Well, it's such a different game, two-handed here. On the flop. The hand starts with Jackson with the 5-6 offsuit betting into the pot and Ivy with the Queen 8 of hearts raising his bet. Jackson calls and we go to the flop. On the flop, pair of jacks and a 7. Ivy still the leader with that Queen 8 suited. Three hearts out there for him. 80,000 is the bet. And that's a pretty standard poker play, Barry. The big stack on a flop like this in an unraised pot wants to keep making tester bets. Try to find out if the little guy connected in any way. And with that kind of flop, it looks unlikely. So Phil Ivey says, okay, I've got queen high, but I'll take a stab at it. And look at this! Re-raised by Jackson. Wow. The flop comes seven jack-jack with two clubs on the board. Ivy has the best hand with the queen high, bets to see where he stands and not allow Jackson to make a move of his own. Jackson has nothing but makes an amazing raise to Ivy's bet. Now Ivy has to try and put him on a hand and decide his next move. To 170,000. Now I, I like the play because Paul Jackson is willing to get into a poker match here. He's not going to just sit around and wait to flop the nuts. This may be the line in the sand here for Paul Jackson. Ivy's 4 to 1 in the lead when it comes to chips, so if Jackson bets so much, he probably has a hand and it's no time to risk a lot of chips when you're short. On the other hand, if he had the jack, he wouldn't have raised Ivy, but draw him into the turn to get more value and not scare him away from the pot. Maybe Ivy is putting him on a flush draw? Ivy has a big lead over Jackson, so we can easily call here to see the turn if he puts him on a draw, or even re-raise and win the hand here. Phil Ivy though, if he really thinks deeply about this, might be asking himself, well now wait a minute, if this guy had a jack in his hand, would he re-raise me here? Probably not. So what the heck is he doing? So he's thinking it, and the question is, will wow. he overthink it? A re-raise! Well, there you are. Re-raises to 320,000. It's right back in the face of Paul Jackson. Ivy raises Jackson's bet, which will definitely scare Jackson away from the hand. He tried to bluff, it didn't work, he has a low count of chips, maybe next hand. We are watching some poker here, Barry. Both guys with nothing. Phil Ivey's nothing is a little bit better than Paul Jackson's, but <laughs> nobody connected with that flop, and here they are, raise, re-raise, re-raise. Raise. Oh my goodness, Jackson <laughs> is re-raising. What the heck is going on here? Re-raising. Another 150,000, now it's up to 470. Jackson decides to defend his bluff and re-raise Ivey's raise. This is really amazing, as we are seeing here bluff over bluff and real poker. It's not an easy analysis, so we're really trying to understand what's going on in the minds of both players, who keep bluffing each other, showing strength and aggressiveness. I'm really wondering what Ivy's putting Jackson on, but again, it's probably not a big hand, because if he had a big hand, better to get to the turn and river, right? Maybe he has a big hand, but representing a bluff? It's easy for us viewers here behind the screen, knowing both players' hands. But think if you were playing instead of Ivy or Jackson, how would you have played? What would you have done now? Hear the wheels turning in the head of Phil Ivy. Is this for real? Right, and, and I'm thinking, Phil Ivy, 
has got to fold here. I mean, is his opponent going to raise him twice with nothing? After Phil Ivey has shown strength. Three sixty. Three eighty. Three sixty. Three eighty. Three hundred eighty thousand is what Jackson finally arrives at. Barry, let's put this in perspective. We're looking at a million chip pot, and both players have nothing. We are looking at two guys bluffing with nothing. Both of them. Who's going to blink? With two cards to come. I don't think he's going to blink. I don't see how he can possibly continue in this hand. Everything Paul Jackson has done. All in. What? <laughs> That's why we're here and they're there. Ivy goes all in when we were sure it's time to fold, but we thought the same when it was Jackson's time to fold. Without a doubt, an amazing poker hand. Now, Jackson has no choice but to fold his hand he can't call with a 6 high. Nice try, both players played beautifully trying to bluff one another, but Ivy just kept on pushing with his massive chip lead and did not let go. Absolutely astonishing poker. What was point thinking is there? He said it was a good lay down and he's gonna do just that. Jackson folds the hand and we've seen Ivy at his best. Not believing Jackson has a good hand when both players could have easily folded their hands during the raise re raise saga. Again, this is not an easy hand to analyze when you try to get into both players' minds but we've done our best here. That is why there are the pros who play for millions of dollars and we're here operating a YouTube channel. We hope you enjoyed the hand and we would love to hear your own thoughts about the hand and the plays by both players. So write us and comment below. Could you have played the same? At what point would you have folded the hand? Let us know and let's talk about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed the hand and I hope one day you'll be able to bluff Phil Ivey himself. We would love to hear your own thoughts and insights, so leave us a comment below. For more interesting and entertaining videos, please like our videos, share, comment and subscribe to View on Poker channel, we will keep uploading more interesting poker hands for you on a regular basis. Have a great day!